What's going on guys? So wake up. It's still a pandemic. We're still stuck at home. We're still doing a ton of shadow boxing. Today we're going to work the clinch into our shadow boxing routine. We've already been doing a lot of shadow boxing. We've been working a lot of punches. We've been working a lot of straight knees. We've been working a lot of kicks. We're going to follow up these techniques by engaging in the clinch. You can work this either offensively or defensively. So maybe you're in the middle of throwing a combination. You throw something like a rear hand uppercut and then you dig for that clinch or conversely maybe you finish a combination maybe it's something like this bow you throw that boom come back as your opponent comes forward instead of backing out and countering as they move forward as your imaginary opponent moves forward you're going to push off of this back foot a bit and engage in that clinch how do we practice engaging clinch on our imaginary opponent we push off of our rear foot for orthodox fighters this is your right foot okay we're going to track our distance so if we're this far away then we need to make up this amount of distance so that my elbow is going to come to my opponent's chest. So I'm going to push off of my rear foot, elbow to their chest, palm of the lead hand is going to find the apple of the head right there, and my rear hand is going to cover up my eyebrow and my temple so that I don't get elbowed. So I'm going to push off, elbow to the chest, palm of the hand on the apple of the head, and this is going to guard my eyebrow. So I'm here. Boom, take for that clinch. Once I get to here, I can't leave this front foot here ahead of my back foot. The reason why is if I come into the clinch with you and I show you this foot, all you've got to do is attack this leg nice and hard on the inside or the outside and you can take this leg away from me. Now I have no balance. So what I'm going to do is as I'm driving for this clinch right here and I'm covering up my eyebrow, I'm going to bring this rear foot at the same time that I bring this rear hand. So as this rear hand goes to find either the full plumb with both hands on the apple of the head here or find the inside of the bicep here at the same time that this moves forward, this foot's going to move forward. And I'm going to be square and flat footed. Not up like this because this is much easier for your opponent to toss you in the clinch. You're going to come square and flat footed. So once more, I push off of this rear foot, take for that clinch, and then at the same time that this rear hand comes, I bring the rear foot with it. Find that full plumb. And what do we do once we've got this clinch locked onto our imaginary opponent? We can give him some curved knees. Okay, pull him over whichever hip you're going to need. Pull that head with. Bring this up and knee him, bang, okay. or other side, I could pull him over my left hip, raise it up, bang, knee, okay. you could pull him down and give him a straight knee, although this is going to be kind of close, <clears throat> but you can try that, straight knee, straight knee, curved knee, curved knee, or if we want to from here we can work on turning him. So next week we're going to come straight into that and go straight into a turn, so we'll step to the outside and bring him. But for right now, we've got them locked down in this full plumb. We're flat-footed, wider than shoulder width, just a little bit wider than shoulder width. I've got them locked in here. I'm going to step to the outside, and I'm going to pull with the resulting far hand. So if I step past, I'm going to land with my right foot right outside of my imaginary opponent's left foot. So I've got the clinch here. I step. I step behind, and I pull with my left. Boom. I turn. And then I'm going to pull them over a knee. Boom. Then I can push, reset, follow up with other attacks, and I'm back to fighting. Once more, watch from the other side. I'm throwing some boxing techniques, throwing some hands. I'm going to dig for that clinch. Front hand, rear hand, and rear foot. I'm wider than shoulder width. I'm flat-footed, and I'm square. I'm going to step past, and I'm going to pull with the resultant far hand, which is going to be this one. Step with my right foot. Step behind with the left foot. Boom, pull them. Boom. And now I'm going to come up into that knee. Boom. Elbows on their chest when you break. Push off. Follow. Boom. 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 Reset. You can follow with whatever you like to. You can push them off. Boom. Come up into a high roundhouse. Spin through. Reset. So I'm on the outside working boxing techniques. I step in, engage that clinch. Bring that rear hand and rear foot. Boom. I'm wide. I'm flat footed. I've got the full plumb here. Maybe I bring my curved knee here on the right side. Pull them over my right hip. Curve knee, land, step behind with the other foot, turn them. Uh, maybe if I don't want to push them off, keep this hook right on the apple of the head, point the right thumb down, give him a nice hard right elbow. Eesh. Okay, now he's hurt, come up, eesh. Eesh. Okay, I can tee off. Thank you guys, cup and cup. Next week we're going to work on coming from and outside and working straight into that clinch and straight into that turn. Uh, see you guys next week.